Today we're going to plant and grow some cucumbers. I had two requests for a cucumber video, so what is that, like 30% of you? So, Ashley, Ariel, this video is for you. Oh, and also for my 14-year-old um, who's mortified that I'm even on YouTube. Cucumbers are cool. Yep, that should definitely do the trick. Okay, cucumbers really are cool because they're so easy to grow. So beginning gardeners should definitely have some cucumbers because if you want to have some results, uh, some positive results right away, cucumbers are going to give that to you. Also children or kids, if you're introducing them to gardening this year, plant some cucumbers because the seeds germinate really quickly and these plants, I mean this plant I think is only about 10, 12 days old, definitely not more than a couple of weeks. So you're going to get results pretty quickly, especially if you plant them outside. Now I know um, a lot of you want to get started or get a head start before you plant in your garden, but cucumbers are really one of those things that just take off so quickly and they don't, uh, little cucumber plants don't really like to be transplanted. They have very, very delicate roots. So I recommend putting the seeds straight in the ground. So I'm going to show you how to do that today. The only reason I would really um, maybe transplant cucumbers is if I'm going to have a, an additional, if you don't have a lot of space and you want to keep reusing that space, you might want to plant your cucumbers, wait for harvest, and then be able to put another cucumber plant that's already four weeks ahead before you get it in the ground. Don't, don't grow these longer than four weeks though before putting them in the ground or else they're going to become root bound. And again, it, they're very delicate. So we'll go over a few tips for that. Okay, if you do plan on getting a head start with your cucumbers and you want to transplant them from seed, here are a few tips. Now, I would not recommend planting it in one of these smaller containers because like I said, they grow so fast, it's going to get easily root bound and you're more likely to damage the roots in a pot like this, okay? So you might want to choose something a little bit bigger. I like these because A, they're free. I just saved this from my produce. I think this was a tomato container. It has holes in the bottom, which I really like for good drainage and it's bigger than what you need. And that's kind of that's kind of the idea here with cucumbers. Another great option is in a peat pot. So this is just made of peat. It's just basically cardboard paper that comes apart and you can plant this directly into the ground without having to disturb the roots at all. This eventually just kind of disintegrates and the roots grow through. So you can get these at your local hardware store. Now when you're planting your cucumbers, there's no wrong way to plant a seed, but uh, seeds will naturally just kind of reorient themselves the way they need to be but uh, cucumber seeds are kind of these oblong flat seeds and they, re they reorient vertically. So if you want to give them a head start, you can just plant them vertically. They don't need a lot of depth here. So we're just going to push them in till you can't see them anymore. I would put at least two, possibly three seeds per peat pot. Now you're only going to use one plant, but again, um, the chances of them, of all three surviving a transplant uh, is kind of low. So what we're going to do is take all two or three sprouts here, we'll plant them and then a couple days we'll decide which one looks the biggest and the strongest and we'll just thin them by plucking away the other two. Okay? Easy peasy. Let's go plant some outside. All right, let's get these seeds in the ground. This is actually the same method that I like to use when I'm planting squash or zucchini, actually several things, um, but is by creating kind of a hill. So you wanna just kind of get a nice little gully here and I take the dirt from that and put it on top. All right, so we're gonna have like kind of a nice little hill. This does several things. One, it kind of lets you know where your plants are because in a few weeks, some weeds are gonna be growing all up in here and you don't really know what's what. And by having your plants on a hill like this, it helps you identify them. Secondly, when it gets watered, a lot of water tends to sit down here in this little valley that you've made, which is where plants need water a lot of times is at the root. Okay, cucumbers are susceptible to mold and fungus, so keeping the seedlings off of like a big puddle of water. Even though cucumbers love water, you don't want them sitting in a bunch of water. And if you can pick a nice spot that has morning sun, it'll help keep the dew 
um, uh, from just sitting on your cucumber plants for a while. So like I said, I like to go ahead and put my seeds directly in the ground, especially for the first plant. And I will put, now that I'm planting outside, I will put a good five, six, even seven seeds out here and then pick the best one come time. I like to use heirloom seeds so I can plant these again. Um, again, with your heirloom seeds, because they're not GMO seeds and they're not hybrids, you can literally take cucumber slices, put them in the ground, and and get cucumbers that way too. Although I do recommend drying out your seeds first, but I'm just saying it's possible. So we have this nice hill, and once these seedlings come up, we'll pick the best one. And before this even gets started, I like to get a trellis in the ground. Um, Another thing you might want to think about mixing with your soil is compost. I already have some pretty rich soil here, so I don't need it at this time, but cucumbers are heavy feeders. They really will suck some stuff out of the ground. So um, compost, when I say uh, compost, when you hear fertilizer, I want you to think compost. So at a minimum, I want you to save your coffee grinds and your, your eggshells for now so that we can get started on a compost. Now you want to make sure your cucumber plants are at least three feet apart because they're, they're going to take up some space and they, they take up nutrients. So you don't want them too close together. I'm not sure how much you know about companion planting, but it is important to kind of think about what it's near. Your cucumbers, you don't want it near sage. Sage will actually um, stump the growth of a cucumber. Um, I actually have some little dill seedlings that I've planted. Dill is a wonderful companion plant for cucumbers. So if you do want to put something in between your cucumber plants, dill is, an, is a great option. That's what I'm going to put in here today. All right, let's talk about trellises. Having a trellis for your cucumbers is an absolute must. Uh, it doesn't really matter what kind you go with but having something for it to climb right away is important and put the trellis in at the time of planting trust me you don't want to you don't want to stab these little baby cucumber roots um, if you don't have a trellis what's going to happen is your cucumbers are going to grow out onto the ground or into your uh, bed and they will sit on the ground and rot right away um, and not only will it rot and ruin your cucumber plant it's gonna attract a ton of really bad bugs, especially those aphids that will spread to the rest of your garden. So, cucumbers need to grow up and off the ground. I have used something like this before. Um, I like this, except um, my cucumbers and my tomatoes, they tend to grow a little bit crazy and this just wasn't really enough for them. Another option is bamboo stakes that you can put twine or string in between and kind of create a little trellis for your for your cucumbers to grow up. I get, I get a little impatient with these. My, I'm still sticking with the same thing, the tomato cages that I use. Uh, I also use those for my cucumbers. As you can see behind me, that is one heck of a trellis that I have. Um, I don't know if you can tell, but it's actually an archway. So on some of my more ambitious years, I have planted uh, under that trellis. And really after, I train the cucumbers or the tomatoes to grow up the trellis. I can just walk through the tunnel and pick my cucumbers from overhead. I'm, bar I'm barely even in the dirt when I'm harvesting cucumbers and tomatoes out of that thing, but it is, it's quite a monstrosity, so I don't use it every single planting year. Um, let's talk about picking your cucumbers for just a minute. Your leaves are going to grow really big and those little cucumbers will hide in there. You want to pick early and often. Now what will happen sometimes is you'll look and see and you're like, why is my cucumbers, why are they not producing anymore? And then somewhere in your garden you'll find a cucumber like this big and what it, all the nutrients are going to that one cucumber as opposed to giving you a harvest full of cucumbers. Now just like many other vegetables, carrots, squash, you know, the flavor and the nutrients are really gone when your vegetables get that big. So you want to pick your vegetables when they're young and small. That's why when you go to fancy French restaurants, you get those little teeny baby vegetables because they have really all the amazing flavor right there packed in and the nutrients. So bigger isn't always better when it comes to your vegetables. 
cucumbers really are cool to grow because they are so much fun. You're going to get abundant harvest. They're easy. Uh, they are susceptible to bugs, so look for like yellow and black beetles or the, the flies with the black and yellow stripes on them. Those are all bad bugs for your garden. You can And they like cucumbers, so cool running water will help get them off. Planting near your herbs in the first place will help prevent them, but if you do have to break down and get something on your plants, they do make some organic um, like kind of soaps. This is an insecticidal soap, so if you have to break down and use it, I usually have to break down and use this kind of stuff on my squash because the aphids are just sometimes can get out of control no matter how hard you try. Um, lots of water, all right? When you're wondering how much do you water a plant, Think about how much water you want in the end result. So cucumbers, you want them to be nice and juicy, tons of water. Watermelons take a lot of water. Tomatoes take water, but they can go uh, twice a week with water because you don't want them too watery. You want them juicy, but not just so watery that they lose their flavor. So cucumbers, lots of water, get them off the ground. They do not like to sit in water um, and lots of sun, especially in the beginning. The, the plants will create enough shade to kind of keep them cool once once they're grown. They also, when they're growing, if you can grow them near corn, corn is an excellent, excellent companion plant for cucumbers. The, the corn will provide a little bit of shade for your more mature cucumbers because they kind of grow at the same pace or at the same rate. Um, I'd love to see some interesting trellises because there's so many different kinds out there. So send me your pictures. I can't wait to see them and good luck.